Are you ready to create 1,000 YouTube shorts for the whole year with AI automation? This YouTube channel makes thousands of dollars by uploading only psychology fact shorts. Wait, you must have heard this before, right? Because so many YouTubers made videos referring to one idea, psychology facts. But believe me, due to this psychology niche got too saturated. Let's see how we can use this feature of Canva Pro to make valuable content and benefit from that in real terms. Did it happen to you that while giving prompts to chat GPT, you were getting the same results over and over again? This made you frustrated to quit. But in this video, you will not only learn how you can create 1,000 monetizable YouTube shorts, but you will also learn how you can remove duplicated or repetitive content that chat GPT has provided you. For that, see the video till the end. This way you will get all the important steps. Subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Oh, it will support yeah. me to make valuable content for you. So let's get started. In this video, we will make a brain teaser for you. This is so that brain teasers maintain audience interest while enhancing cognitive function. To make a quiz YouTube shorts channel, we need plenty of quizzes with correct answers. For that, we are going to use ChatGPT. Creating a channel is not a big task, I leave it to you. Or you can watch my previous detailed videos in which I made a brand new YouTube channel from scratch. For now, we will head straight to ChatGPT and give it an advanced prompt to get the most out of it. I will write, you are an expert in making quizzes that will sharpen the power of the brain. Give me five quizzes by following the syntax I will provide. Make sure quizzes are engaging, short, and easy. Each quiz should have three options and one correct answer. Please follow the table syntax provided below. Then I will write the desired table format. It will give ChatGPT an accurate idea of what it has to produce. After that, I will give an example to make sure it completely understands what I want. Let's see what that it will give us. It provided us with content without arranging it in a table format. So I will remind her to arrange all of them in a table. After all, it's an AI. Now it gave me all the content inside a table, but the problem is that I don't have any idea about how many quizzes she has generated. So I will ask her to arrange them in a numerical order. Here you go. Now I will copy all these 26 quizzes and paste them into a Google Sheet and arrange it so I can see properly. Now I will click on continue generating as it only gave me 26 quizzes. So first it gives me 50 quizzes. I will write continue providing more instead of telling her specifically to generate this many quizzes. Due to this, it will give me quizzes by following the previous numerical order and I will give her this prompt until I complete my desired target. As you can see, I have reached 500 quizzes. So far, so good. And now it is time to complete our 1000 quizzes. Here you go. It's time to appreciate AI's work. But keep in mind, I am not sure how many duplicate quizzes ChatGPT has provided me. So we will copy all the quizzes and paste them into Google Sheets and we will remove duplication later. So watch the video till the end. I am dropping the link to all the quizzes in the description for you people. You can use it if you want. It's time to create YouTube Shorts. Head to Canva, open videos, then go to mobile video. Go to the videos option and search for the motion line background. You can use any one you like. I am choosing this blue one. Set it as a background. Let's see how it looks. Now I will add an overlay layer because it's too bright. Press Ctrl plus R and an adjustable square will appear. Change color to white and adjust transparency. Resize it according to background. Click on the text icon and click on add heading. Drag it to the top. Choose the font of your choice. I am choosing Sunborn. Now copy the title from Google Sheets and paste it over here. Change effects by clicking on the defect option above. I am applying this effect. Adjust transparency and position. Now again, go to Google Sheets, copy the hook, add a subheading and paste the hook. Apply effects. Adjust the position and resize it. I will change the color of the hook to red, delete the effect and apply it again so it can match our color. Now go to Elements, Graphics, and search Thinking Person. Adjust the size of the sticker and adjust its position. Now search for animated question marks so we can add them to our video. I like this green popping one. Add it and adjust its size and position. Duplicate it and then adjust its position. And again, duplicate it and adjust its position. We will group them by selecting all of them and then right-click and select the group option. Adjust the timing. I want both the sticker and question marks to appear after some gap. So the whole length of the video is 10 seconds. I will adjust both of them to 8.7 seconds. Now duplicate the title, remove the effect, copy the quiz from Google Sheets and paste it here. Change the color and apply the effect. Resize it 
and adjust alignment and position. Duplicate the question three times, because we have to paste copied options from Google Sheet to here. Now copy and paste one by one. Adjust the position and size of each option. Adjust transparency. I want a strong white color. Now we will apply some animations to each object. You can apply animation according to you. You can adjust the speed of animation from here. Let's see how it is looking. I'm applying pop animation on the options. And I like this skate animation for the main quiz. You can select the animation of your choice. It's time to adjust the timings of quizzes and options. Right click on the quiz and adjust the timing to 8.7 seconds. Adjust the timing of all the options at 8.4 seconds. Adjust the ending time as we want to show only the answer at the end. The total length of the video is 10 seconds, so we will keep the length of the quiz and option under 7 seconds. Also, adjust the ending time of stickers and question marks. Let's copy the answer. Rather than pasting the answer, I am duplicating this last option, as this is the correct answer. Adjust the timing of the answer. It should start where our previous part of the video ends. Remember? We have set all the timings of all the objects in the previous part under 7 seconds so we will start answer timing from 7 seconds onward till the end. Now change the color of the answer to green. Remove the effect and apply the effect again to correspond to our current color. Adjust the size, make it a little bit bigger. Adjust its position. Don't worry if it overlaps other parts in the video, we have adjusted the time, so that when we play it everything will look fine. Apply animation, I am applying this pulse animation. We need some celebration stickers to make it visually appealing and good. I like this clapping one because we can also apply the sound effect of clapping. And also I will add this celebration sticker at the top as well, to give our short a moment of happiness. Adjust the timings of both stickers, matching the answer. It's time to add the timer. Just go to the video and search for timer. Choose whatever you like. I am choosing this 9 second timer. And then go to edit video and remove the background. Adjust its size and position. Adjust its timing to 6 seconds. Now it's a magic time. Go to the Bulk Create option. Click on Enter Data Manually. Copy 50 quizzes from Google Sheets and paste them here in the table. Why we are only selecting 50 quizzes, I will tell you later. And if you want to see how I remove duplication, see the video till the end. Until this point, if you are getting any value, then subscribe to this channel to see more videos. Hit the like button, it will support me in so many ways. Now select the object and right click on it. Choose the Connect Data option and select the related option. Do this with all the text objects in the video one by one. I will reduce the size of the answer so it can be visible properly if the answer is long. Now select continue and voila. You have 50 YouTube shorts ready to upload. Let's see the end result. But as you can see, every short looks the same. So what you can do, you can make sets of shorts in different folders and do a little bit of changing to every set and upload alternatively. Keep in mind that the bulk create feature of Canva is only available in the Canva Pro version, but you can try it by taking its free trial for 30 days. To download, go to share, make sure to select download as a separate file, and then click on download. Keep all the shorts in separate folder. Now we will make some changes to another set of shorts. First, group all the objects together, move them a little bit away from the main area, and move the overlay layer. Go to Videos and write question marks video. Change the background video. Now we will make bit of changes. Remove the sticker and search for new one. Change sticker. Change the colors of the heading and subheading. After doing all the changes, here is the result. This way you can create 1,000 YouTube shorts for a whole complete year. It's time to remove duplication from the data. The green highlighted rows show duplication. As you can see, ChatGPT provided lots of repetitive quizzes. To remove duplication, we will go to the Data tab, click on Data Cleanup, and select Remove Duplicates. Check Data has header row option. Click on Remove Duplication. Voila! You have all unique quizzes now. If you like the video, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next video.